God's people. Hope everything's good. I hope y'all are blessed. Um, I wanted to do Revelation, the book of Revelation, uh, by the Apostle John. I wanted to do chapter 4, because I left off on chapter 3. So I want to start on chapter 4 now, because we have to do chapter by chapter. And do not be scared of the book of Revelation, because... The book of Revelation is the time that we're living in right now. Um, sequences and things uh, that, that are spoken of, or some of these things are happening, but everything has not been fulfilled in the book of Revelation. It's still a book of prophecy, and there's still things, uh, many things that have to take place uh, before the end of time and before the, Lord, the Lord's coming. Um, so let's go to chapter 4 of Revelation, starting with, uh, worship in heaven is what this is called. Then as I looked, I saw, and this is John the Apostle speaking, and his, it's his, his account. Then as I looked, I saw a door standing open in heaven, and the same voice I had heard before spoke to me with the loud sound of a mighty trumpet blast. The voice said, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen after these things. And instantly I was in the spirit, and I saw the throne in heaven and someone sitting on it. The one sitting on the throne was as brilliant as gemstones, jasper, and carnelian. And the glow of an emerald circled his throne like a rainbow. Twenty-four thrones surrounded him, and twenty-four elders sat on them. They were all clothed in white and had gold crowns on their heads. And from the throne came flashes of lightning and the rumble of thunder. And in front of the throne were seven lampstands with burning flames. They are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was a shiny sea of glass, sparkling like crystal. So it's giving you a visual of uh, things that, like what the throne of, of God looks like, you know, and he has... Seven, it's the seven spirits of God, is the seven lampstands uh, with the burning flames, which was uh, previously spoken of uh, when Jesus was saying uh, about the lampstand, the seven lampstands. And uh, what was that in Revelation chapter, I think it was two or something. But it's, 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 it's where I read it already. So, uh, so back to the gemstone, let's see. So this is just a description of of heaven or the, the throne in the center and around the throne were four living beings and also creatures that are in here so we had the 24 elders um, that sat on on these 24 thrones you know you just get in the picture of uh, it's like a, a government like a kingdom a, a ranking you know things like that um, 24 elders are very close to them uh, they also have uh, uh, at the center and around the throne were four living beings each covered with eyes, front and back. The first of these living beings had the form of a lion. The second looked like an ox. The third had a human face, and the fourth had the form, uh, had six wings, and the fourth had the form of an eagle with wings spread out as though in flight. And uh, this, this creature, these creatures sound very similar to Ezekiel, uh, might be, 38, chapter 38, but Ezekiel, um, actually, no, this was uh, Ezekiel, like, chapter 2 or 3, because it was the beginning when he was being called and stuff, he, uh, he saw these, these, um, these creatures, they, they had wings, and then the wings they had, uh, and also was chariots, I believe, and it had eyes, and it was this description just like this, with the, with the face of a human, then animals, bear or something, uh, so it's kind of like, John is having the same kind of visions, such as uh, the same as Daniel, uh, the prophet Daniel. Uh, so you need to do your research if you're a uh, prophecy person who loves to, to learn about the prophecy and things like that. They feel like they should call it. should look at uh, Daniel, um, John, Revelation, uh, because he definitely, and um, like I said, uh, and Ezekiel. And I actually all love him, you know, but uh, Ezekiel, they're talking about the same stuff. Okay, uh, each of these living beings had six wings, and their wings were covered with eyes, inside and out. Day after day, and night after night, they keep on saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, 
the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Whenever the living beings give glory and honor and thanks to the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down and worship the one who lives forever and ever. And they lay their crowns before the throne and say, You are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created everything, and it is for your pleasure that they exist and were created. Let's see. So now, the question is that, let me see, I want to make sure that's Lord Almighty. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, the one who always was, who is, and who is still to come. Whenever the living beings give glory and honor to the, and thanks to the one sitting on the throne, the one who lives forever and ever, that's God the Father. That's God the Father. Do they say the Lamb? They say the Lamb or the Son. So that's God the Father because He's supreme. He's the one that sits in that throne. But Jesus has His throne too. So let's see. Let's go to chapter 5. In Jesus' name, give us revelation, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name. Your people need to know your word, Lord Jesus. Give it to them and give it to, give them the pure truth, Lord. In Jesus' name, the true gospel, my Lord, my God. <sighs> and let them understand that I am not perfect. I am the messenger. I am not perfect. I am not who people, who y'all probably want me to be. I don't know who I am yet. I'm still learning. Still got things to learn. Still, God is still working on me. So I just want to tell y'all that just in the middle of this, I've been wanting to tell y'all, I was going to tell y'all at the beginning. So just understand all these holy things that I'm giving you, I'm still an imperfect being, all right? Now please understand that. That's all I'm asking of y'all. I please understand that. And if you don't, I'm sorry. Love you still. All right, so the Lamb opens the scroll. This is chapter 5. The Lamb... It's Jesus, okay? See what I was saying? I was saying, okay, this has to be God the Father because it didn't say the Lamb or the Son. It said the Lord, the Lord God Almighty, but the one who sits on the throne. And we, we know that God sits on that throne and, and everybody gives him praise. Everybody, including Jesus, gave God the Father praise here on earth. He said, God, I, did, I didn't get, I didn't, this not me. What, what, this, what, what I have, this Holy Spirit, I got from my father, and my father gave me this power. He gave me this position of power. You understand? In the kingdom, to be the savior of the world. That's what Jesus was telling the people. And that's what that's what, what, what it really is. That's what it is. He is the savior of the world. Through God the Father, God the Father chose for, for Jesus to die for our sins. To, he, he chose for this to save all of humanity. This is his system. This is God the Father's system. And in his system, he says, the way to get to heaven, to be in his family, is through Jesus Christ. You understand? That's what it's about. Be faithful in your heart and in your mind and your spirit. Nobody else can see. Your, nobody can see my heart. But y'all can see my actions. So y'all say, okay, well, he, sometimes he might be a little, he ain't mixed up on his word. He ain't mixed up on, he, I ain't told y'all nothing about the word that's wrong, have I? If I have, point it out to me so I can learn and be corrected. You know what I mean? I'm telling y'all, but also it's a, it's a side to life. It's a side to life that you have to live life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm learning about life also. I collect all knowledge so I can be able to be helpful to everybody. I don't put myself in one corner, but I want to be in all corners. In all corners of the world, be able to appeal to all people. Now the question is, how does that get done? It's by giving the pure word. And then I'm still telling you, I'm still a young man. Still have things to do. Still have things to go through. Still have things, so many things to learn. God is not done with me. But okay, so back to, I just wanted to tell y'all that. Uh, and I love y'all. Uh, but I, the Lamb opens the scroll. The Lamb is Jesus Christ. And I saw a, a scroll in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne. See what I told you? told you that it was God the Father, didn't I? Because see, the scroll is in the right hand of the one who was sitting on the throne, the one we were just talking about in chapter 4. See, the Holy Spirit is going to reveal the truth to y'all. Come on and listen. There was writing on the inside 
and the outside of the scroll.